So I'm the manager of homelessness at the City of Sydney. So my presentation was on mobile cooling hubs for people experiencing homelessness. So it was a design that was done by City of, uh, City of Sydney, um, sorry, designed by, done by St Vincent's Health, um, University of Sydney, and then City of Sydney sort of supports it. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's able to be deployed during extreme heat events to support people who are sleeping on the street to withstand like heat shock, basically. So I guess for context, um, we all know the heat events are increasing, but also homelessness is increasing in terms of primary homelessness. So in New South Wales, um, last two years, it went up 24 and 23% in terms of rough sleeping numbers. I mentioned it in the presentation, in the city of Sydney, we have 280 people sleeping on the street. Byron Shire has about 340 with hardly any service or infrastructure. So part of the design of the mobile cooling hub was scalability, but also it could be reproduced because the costs are quite low. Um, it's a health-led initiative to just to prevent hospitalisation and death for people uh, sleeping rough who have the highest range of vulnerabilities. They, you know, they can't go into an air-conditioned room, a house necessarily. They're living with um, sometimes mental health. They've got clozapine, lithium complications, drug and alcohol, unsafe shelters. Um, most of the crisis shelters and temporary accommodation are either not available or about 97% capacity. So this was like a, yeah, I guess a solution while obviously the ultimate solution is everyone's housed, but in the meantime, this is what we need now. Extreme heat and homelessness is like a twin crisis that's just merging, it's like merging together. Um, so I guess looking at those future challenges, that's a huge one. I think every time someone gets displaced community where we're losing housing stock, it's putting an extra strain on the sort of homelessness population. Um, and then innovation, I guess no one, we did it because no one else had anything equivalent to. Um, so the Sydney University heat, uh, heat Lab, so Professor Ollie Jay and Tim English, they started designing it based on research and we realised that we don't have that short-term mitigation strategy basically. And so we had a look overseas, there wasn't huge much going on. People are talking about it and we're like, let's just do it. So yeah, so I guess that's the innovation.